What's going on gamers? It's your boy Daily Tactics here and welcome back to Ubes 2. Now today we are going to be doing a Star Fortress defense against zombies as the Redcoats. Now as you can see I have fully filled up the number of teams available in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. So it's not exactly a star, but it's as close to a star fortress as I could possibly get. Uh, you know, these star fortresses were very, you know, famous during the musket era of combat, all the way up until like the American Civil War and, you know, that sort of era of combat as well. So, uh, you know, I really tried to make it resemble a star fortress as best I could, and they are going to be surrounded by four million zombies here. Let's go ahead and get on into this thing. Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Daily Tactics and real quick before this video begins I want to let you guys know about a charity stream that I am going to be doing this Saturday at 11 a.m Eastern Standard Time it is going to be six hours long and we are going to be trying to raise $1,000 for Austin Pets Alive a no-kill animal shelter in Austin, Texas that does amazing work saving doggos and kittos That's actually where I got my cat recently. I adopted from there. Uh, I highly recommend checking them out if you're looking to adopt and we're gonna be trying to raise a thousand dollars donation link will be in the description below I am matching up to one thousand dollars so if we meet the one thousand dollar goal I will also be donating a thousand dollars of my own money if we reach a five hundred dollar goal I'll donate five hundred dollars and so on and so forth in addition to that all revenue from this video right here will be going to Austin Pets Alive uh, as well so guys follow the link in the description below to donate it's an awesome cause, and uh, the live stream will be this Saturday at 11 a.m. EST, and you can donate during that as well. All right, enjoy the rest of the video. Alrighty then, gamers, here we are on the ground floor of the battlefield, and here's the Star Fortress on the battlefield itself. It almost looks like a turtle, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Um, there are 4 million zombies here, and there are 120,000 redcoats total. Uh, now, when we did this, Previously in a Pentagon formation with US shotgun units, uh, they had about 100,000 soldiers versus 4 million zombies, and they were able to succeed. Of course, in this instance, we're going to be using muskets, which are not as powerful as World War II shotguns or trench guns, so we'll see if they are capable of defeating this many zombies with an inferior weapon, uh, but perhaps a, a more powerful formation that they're going with here. I think it could be kind of interesting. Either way, guys, if you do enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button. It helps you out a ton on this channel. Let's try and get the video to a thousand likes in the first 24 hours. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're working our way towards 500k and we just hit 450k, which is phenomenal. And uh, comment down below if you'd like me to try any other crazy formations um, in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2, because I find them to be really fun. It's a, it's a really interesting way uh, to play this game, and I, I just think it's really cool. Uh, either way, the Redcoats are firing out at the zombies. They're managing to take out a decent number of them, but on the points of the star formation here, the zombies are managing to get to these troopers. Now, that's sort of what we were experiencing when we were doing square formations, is that the points of the square um, were having impacts with the zombies, and that seems to be happening in the uh, star formation right now here which does make sense however i guess the idea is that the inner parts are not going to have contact with the zombies for a very long time and uh, these guys will be able to fire out at the angles taking out a lot of zombies that are going for the angles i i don't know exactly why star fortresses were utilized a, a youtube video keeps on popping up in my recommended that's basically like why star fortresses were the best type of fortress for the longest time, or, or something along those lines. I, I can't remember the exact title. Uh, I never watched it. I really should have. It, it did sound pretty interesting. Um, but, I don't know. If you guys could explain to me why Star Fortresses were utilized in combat, I'd love to know. I, I really would. Um, but it looks like over on this side, we are having the first zombies trying to go for middle, uh, and they're getting shot down pretty nicely. There are troopers, of course, in the fortress itself over this way, uh, holding the middle ground, and they are also able to fire out, so that's definitely helping them out as well. Uh, now, in this game, of course, there's no ammunition, so the Star Fortress will be able to fire indefinitely which will be very very helpful for their cause um, you know I've seen a lot of complaints about the fact that there's no ammunition I would think it'd be kind of interesting if uh, Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 did have some sort of a mode where you could have 
ammunition settings, you know, maybe you could actually assign how much ammo each individual soldier gets. That could make it really, really interesting, actually. I mean, you could, of course, have an infinite ammo option, and then you could also have, you know, give them 20 shots or something along those lines. Of course, 20 shots would not be nearly enough to hold this defense. Um, I think you do need endless ammo to hold this defense. Or you could give them just exactly how much ammo they would need to kill 4 million zombies, but then, of course, they cannot miss a single shot or else they're done for. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it would be kind of interesting to see some sort of ammunition capability uh, in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. Either way, we are looking at about 6,700 dead redcoats and climbing as the Star Fortress actually has all of its sides now being attacked by the zombies. Meanwhile, the zombies have lost almost 300,000 uh, of their own units. That's quite a number of dead zombies. Of course, now that they're starting to deplete the redcoat numbers, uh, you know, it's, it's, not as, it's not as daunting. For the zombies because the red coats are going down hard they're almost at 10k losses now uh you know the, once the zombies impact your lines they start to eat away at you extremely quickly so why don't we go ahead and do our first time lapse of the video let's do it on this side over here and just check out how the zombies sort of come in actually we should do it on one of the one of the corners although the corners are getting eaten away at pretty good here but yeah let's do it on one of the corners so we can sort of see them eat inside the corner all right let's run it All right, gamers, I was trying to follow that time lapse, but the zombies away ate away at those quarters so quickly, I kept having to move the camera angle. Uh, so hopefully it was entertaining to watch. I don't really know how that's going to turn out, but basically what we have is the... Uh, quarters are just totally destroyed now uh, and now it's gonna really be up to the middle gunners here to defeat the zombies uh, but that's gonna be a tall order we have 45,000 dead redcoat soldiers uh, and only 755,000 dead zombies there's still like 3 million zombies left alive here and they're just going at it dude absolutely munching on these redcoats major major problem of course for the redcoats here uh, that, that will end up being very, very problematic, I think, at the end of the day. It, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Uh, I don't know if they got this. Let me know if you guys think they got this. I mean, I always want to be a believer for the defenders, but th this is going to be a real, real difficult one at the end of the day. At least there's this nice gap between them and the zombies over that way. That will be helpful. Of course, that gap will close down pretty soon, I feel like, once the zombies uh, end up finishing eating away at these lines here, which probably not too long now until that happens, considering the rate the redcoats are going down. I mean, you can see just here the zombies are getting closer and closer to the camera position by the second, just as they mow down on these redcoat soldiers. It's looking pretty abysmal for the Redcoats right now. This Star Fortress formation, uh, definitely a, a fairly weak one, especially compared to like the Hexagon formation, which we did in the past. I feel like the Hexagon um, was a lot stronger than the uh, Star Fortress we've got going on here. Even, I mean, the Pentagon was strong, but the Pentagon was strong simply due to the fact uh, that it had shotgunners, I feel like. I don't know, maybe if we made the Redcoats all into shotgunners, they'd actually be able to do this thing uh, since shotgunners are just a very, very powerful unit. We could even try that in this video. Yeah, why don't we try that in this video after the Redcoats either win or lose this thing and we can see how the shotgunners would end up doing in this exact same formation. Although right now I am thinking that the Redcoats are likely uh, going to lose. Uh, almost for sure, they're going to lose. Uh, we do have the overlapping Redcoat corner positions, uh, which are stronger, of course, because they have so many troopers more condensely packed over here. Uh, so the zombies are starting to go at those guys now, but they're able to um, hold out a little bit better than the actual points of the triangle and things like that. Uh, so hopefully they can stall out for a little bit and allow these guys in the inside to get easy shots off. Um, they're almost at 1 million kills total, but they've lost about 60,000 soldiers now. Let's let it ride, but it's going to be a tricky battle. Why don't we go ahead and do a time lapse right around here?
basically now we have it where the red coats are just totally surrounded in their inner square here by zombies that they're at 1.3 million kills and they're at 85,000 deaths now we're just gonna let the zombies eat away at these red coats slowly but surely uh, and then we'll try this again with shotgun units to see how they do I still think 1.3 million kills is respectable but obviously not quite what we're looking for from these guys uh, so let's see how many kills they do end up getting but they're clearly gonna lose this all right so the zombies did end up winning 1.5 million kills for the redcoats 120,000 kills for the zombies let's run this back but with shotgunners all righty then gamers now we have a whole lot of shotgunners on the field let's go ahead and press start here and let the zombies come on forward and see if these guys are just so much better than the redcoats Ooh, i forgot to switch one redcoat line over to shotgunners well shotgunners are now a little bit more nerfed because they have one 18th century unit in there with them oh well it happens all right shotgunners should begin firing relatively soon of course they are letting it get closer than when the redcoats were defending um because obviously the zombies uh you know have to deal with less range here with the shotgun units but there we go now they're starting to sprinkle fire out there and i would say the rate of death for the zombies is already faster than when the redcoats were defending just the shotgun spread is so good man it is just really really good and all four corners should be firing now and yes they are seems like this corner over here has the zombies actually getting very very close which is a little bit peculiar but they're still getting stopped pretty hard uh right about in this little circle area here uh, so not quite reaching the shotgun lines just yet of course those middle sections aren't really getting attacked as much like last time uh, but eventually the zombies will probably attack that too we got the red coat units over here firing as well which is always kind of funny uh, that's just a little whoopsie doopsie on my part shotgun units already have 56,000 kills which is a pretty insane amount um, and the zombies are getting close, but not close enough right now the shotguns just holding out pretty nicely Already the shotgunners are doing so much better than the redcoats were ever doing uh, It's only been a few minutes and they've already got 500,000 kills and not a single shotgun unit has died yet the body piles are mounting it's just such a superior unit to the redcoats uh, but even the redcoats themselves with the backup on the you know sides of them in the middle here are doing pretty well too they're managing to keep these zombies at bay this is definitely the weakest link probably in the lines but they're still managing to do it so while we go ahead and do a nice little time lapse here of one of these sides and just watch some zombies get mowed down continuously by shotgunners All right, gamers, after six minutes, the zombies have gotten 26 kills. I think those kills are coming from these corners, uh, which are starting to take a couple of losses here because the zombies, their body piles are just going up so much, they're not able to fire out them as easily at a distance. So the zombies are getting a little bit close, but 26 kills, now 34. Really, not that much, realistically. Uh, that's really only ha happening at the points, and the insides are still staying very, very safe right now. So that's very good. Uh, meanwhile, there's 2.17 million dead zombies on the battlefield, leaving only 2 million left alive. A great start for the shotgunners. I think they're just going to dominate this battlefield in total, and uh, they're not going to end up losing at all. I, yeah, I'd be surprised if they got more than 200 losses total. The shotgunners have now defeated pretty much this entire side over here, which is crazy. Uh, and now there's just a little bit coming up over this ridge here on this corner. They're still defeating them. I was wrong. They did lose more than 200 soldiers so far. They've lost 350, but they're at 3.66 million kills. Uh, and primarily, it's just this side over here that's still having to deal with zombies. Uh, but it's pretty clear that the shotgunners are going to win this. And there we have it, gamers. Four million dead zombies, only 500 dead shotgunners, but the star formation succeeds. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below if you'd like to see some more in the future. All right, guys. Peace. 
I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.